Now we're going to move on and offer loving kindness to groups. People often ask, well, what about those in my family? Where do they fit in? Or those I work with, something like that. We offer loving kindness to groups of people, groups of beings. And in many cases, we also see if we can include the opposite or complementary set so that taken together, they form the whole of life. So for example, all those in my family, all those not in my family. Now clearly these are not groups of equal size, but the idea is that we're going to prefer perhaps one side rather than the other side, and yet we're working toward including all. All those in my family, all those not in my family, those beings who live on the earth, in the earth, under the sea, in the air. Friends of mine with terrible insomnia say they sometimes do loving kindness for all beings who are awake, not metaphorically, but literally, which first of all includes them, but not only them, it's people going to work at the other end of the world. It's creatures having their day at the other end of the world. And then all those who are asleep, which does not include them, but presumably includes their neighbors. Those who live wisely, those who live recklessly. You can spend a few moments before you start and think of which groups you would like to include. Offering loving kindness to both or all so that when that grouping is done, you have included all of life. Even though we might certainly have a preference for one side or the other, we continue to stretch to explore what's it like. As I also take a few moments and wish well, say, to those not in my family, not in my community, and so on. This is the movement from the more concrete to the more abstract. So you may find that you feel less connected, you feel more bored, it's more difficult to concentrate. And here sometimes we, we rely on just the mechanics of the technique. Remember to rest your attention on the phrase. When you realize your attention has wandered, that's natural, it's to be expected. See if you can let go and come back. And let go and come back. And if you have to do that over and over again, truly, it's fine. Various images may come to mind. You can let them come, let them go. It's kind of interesting. Or they may not. And the bottom line is we have the phrases. If you're in a place where you're feeling an urge to engage more, say, in an earthquake or a natural disaster somewhere in the world, and, and you want to be offering loving kindness, this is a wonderful time to do that. And you'll feel your energy more connected, even from afar. Remember that this practice is very connecting so that it is a way to be more engaged and perhaps choose an action from there. It's also a way of feeling energetically involved and participating without necessarily getting overwhelmed because all along the way we are practicing a certain balance. Perhaps there's a smaller group that you're thinking of where you want to be able to hold all the different constituent elements in the light of loving kindness. Maybe it's a family gathering with lots of different views and opinions that will be represented. Perhaps it's an audience and you have to do a presentation and you're feeling pretty nervous. See what happens as you offer loving kindness to the range of beings you expect to encounter. See if you can sit comfortably. Allow your energy to move into your body. Be 
begin to think of various groups. And either within that group or outside of that group, so you can come to a sense of the whole. Those in my family, those not in my family, for example. Or those I feel close to in my family, those I feel estranged from in my family. Using pairs of opposites or complementary sets. You can begin repeating the phrases of loving kindness and move at your own pace. May you be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. Live with ease. Those near and those far. Those known and those unknown. Those being born, those in existence, those dying.
May you be safe, be happy, be healthy, live with ease. Those beings with a home, those beings without a home. Enlightened beings, unenlightened beings. May you be safe, be happy, be healthy, live with ease. Focusing on one group for a while, and then the next. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes or lift your gaze and end the session.